The challenges that we're facing in our culture today, in the world, requires not more knowledge, it requires highly creative people. A class will come on the bus, they'll take a single art form, and they come during the school day because it's been shown time and time again that it helps the kids with their academics. The class that comes actually stays intact. You know, Mrs. Smith's fourth grade class comes to take ceramics. That's an unusual partnership. It's the only one in the country that I'm aware of. We have a unique way of approaching creative development here. The space is one of those components. It's a very important part to have a place where you can actually do creative work. You can work on any scale, any size, huge murals, gigantic sculptures. We were built because the arts were being eliminated from the California curriculum, and not just California, but all over the country. When it comes down to it, the arts are still seen as an expendable frill. As a training for human beings, they need to know knowledge, you need to know math and science and be able to read and write, and you also need to have a whole lot of creative experiences. The same areas in the brain that are activated when you're doing mathematics and science are identical to those when you're doing creative work. They're concentrating, they're focusing, they're making decisions one after the other. All kinds of stuff is going on underground that you don't even see that is really shaping and forming the mind and heart and consciousness of that student. We're here, homeless capital of America. This is ground zero for the problems in our whole city. In many ways, ground zero for the country. The children that we're working with are the highest poverty, the most at-risk children in the country. So you introduce the arts. What does that do? It's been proven now over and over and over again as it's a huge and powerful counterweight for this lack of hope. Because you have to be able to hope and dream to create something that doesn't exist. Then it has a ripple effect. It begins to change the dream. 96% of them go on to college. And that's in a neighborhood where 75% don't graduate from high school. We're an example of what's possible. If we can do this in Skid Row, imagine what's possible throughout the world. <laughs>